there. It's time for another stealther. This time, it's at Walmart. There is a nice chunk of woods that is behind it. And I am gonna go make my way back in. I parked up along the side of the building, which was kind of tricky, because that's where the uh, grocery pickup weight is. Uh, the parking spot's there for people to pick up their groceries that, that they order online. And I had to wait quite a bit in order for it to get pretty empty. But now I'm making for this back area here, and I'm going to head in. Here we go. Recently, someone's come back down here with a brush hog and knocked on some grass, which makes it pretty easy to get back here. There's some deer ahead. Okay, so today is another stealther. I've had a little bit of time off from stealth camping to go up north and go real camping. Uh, I had a good vacation, beach time, fun time, family time, but now it is stealth time. And today, I'm over uh, behind a Walmart. And it was really tricky to get back in here. I thought I could park right on the side and walk up, and I didn't realize that that's where their online order pickup is at. So it took a bit a bit of waiting for most of those orders to get picked up that were there at the time when I arrived. And then when there was about one left, I chose my chance to enter in here. And I don't think any of the employees that load the groceries saw. And I think we're pretty good here. We should be gold. There's a fence here that goes around uh, some swampy areas and a retention pond. I would assume to keep people from fishing or from potentially going in there and drowning and having a lawsuit here. So what I'm going to do is make my way back into this forest here that's behind the Walmart and set up camp. Okay before I go back through the thick stuff I have got to put on some of this off sportsman Found a tick on my leg earlier today at home, and this looks like Tick Central. So I'm going to get uh, off to up here before I go in there. All right, here we go. And I'm going to choose this spot where a tree has come down to ooh, enter this thick crap and try to work my way down. Don't have far to go. Just about 10 more feet. Oh boy, that's surely got to have more than one tick living there. Okay. Now look at this. Since we came down that little hill, that just creates the best barrier from anybody seeing. And to my south over here is the highway. So no one's going to come that way. On the opposite side, uh, to my north, there's a mobile home community, and they have some land that borders this that goes back. But this is Walmart's land that we're going to be on today. So we're heading back in. Now look at that. I'm going to go the other way, but i got to see what this is. That is an old vehicle of some sort. There is a tire. Maybe a, I don't know, some kind of old farm vehicle. I wonder if I can read that tab down there. 
Now, that tab says New Holland on it. Um, whatever this is. I'm not the first to come this way. Piers. This might be a homeless camp. Or at least it was at some point. There's a lot of water jugs down there. But we're going to go back the other way. We're not going to stay over here. Nope. I can do it. We're going to go over here and look for a spot. And once I get to where I want the hammock, we'll avoid that spider web. Um, I'll show you my gear. Uh, I know I've done it in some earlier videos, but I'm going to show you some updates. And uh, I'm going to try a new microphone, which I didn't get hooked up because I wanted to get away from the car and get back here without too many people observing it. But we'll check it out once we set up. All right. Found a spot. Have the new mic on. Hopefully this works a little better. And uh, I'm going to show you what I have kind of what I've upgraded or switched to uh, from previous stealthers and just a general knowledge of backpacking from 20 years experience um, there's a lot of things I've been changing so let me get you over to my pack alrighty new mic hopefully is working um, this is my pack it was a gift from my wife for Christmas with stealthers in mind. And as you can see, it's camouflage. My other packs are meant for backpacking. And I have orange, blue, and black, different size packs. Uh, the blue and the black one, 55 and 75 liters, those are huge packs. The orange one, I believe is 30 liters. It's more of a mountaineering pack. I believe I used it in season one, but it's too bright camo way to go this pack is great i love it but it's just a little bit too small by the time i get my under quilt my quilt and my hammock in there it's so full and it fits but it takes time and patience to get it to fit just right and for stealthing um speed speed needs to be considered it's great with the color, blends in, it doesn't stick out, but it's just a little bit too small. So I'm gonna be upgrading this again soon. Uh, I just need about five or 10 more liters on it and I can fit everything, but it's a nice pack. Here's my Carhartt cooler my boys got me for Christmas. Previously, I had used a big blue one. I've upgraded to this one now. It's black, it has this little white patch, but that's okay. And as long as I've got the cooler in front, I think I'm going to crack open a beer because it's hot. It's like 86 degrees here today. And even though it was just a tiny hike back here, I'm still sweating. Ah, no yeah. Just a really nice beer. Easy drinking golden ale. Not too shabby. Okay, so on the side of my pack, I've got my chair. I'm going to get that going here in a minute and get off this log. The only other problem with this pack is the water bottle pouch, which is too small to fit my Nalgene, which I'd like to bring. So I just have a bottle of water in here for now. But this pack's just going to end up being kind of an overnight bag for me just for uh, regular camping trips, and I'm going to upgrade to something else have my hammock up now. Well, kind of up. It only takes 30 seconds to get it to here, maybe 60. I wanted to show a couple things. I know I highlighted these before in a different video, but I have these Night Eyes 
and I have a round carabiner. Those are connected, they go over to the kangaroo strip, and then that uh, hammock line just goes right through the night eyes. You pull it tight, it cinches right up. Couldn't be any easier. However, last time out, somehow, I managed to break one of the clips on the hammock. So I've got to replace that now. And that's what normally my fly would tie into. But because I can't do that, I just put the fly right up around the tree. So that'll work for tonight. I'll order or find another little plastic clip for that. Uh, we'll get this out. There's a chance of rain uh, really early morning tomorrow. So I think I will put the fly out just to be safe. And after I get that set up, oh, I wanted to show you guys something. Let me turn this around. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you. I like to be an organized person. So, when I have these together, this is the Atlas suspension system. This is what the kangaroo straps come in. I keep my carabiners and my uh, grips in here. And of course, this is the bag for the Hennessy hammock. But there's a lot to lose, so I put the two small ones and then the big one. And I know that if I need to find the stuff to put my hammock away, that's where it is. Okay, hammock's up. And I believe my mic is working now, and I don't think it was before. success okay the new mic is now fully functional uh, there's deer over there and all of the wires all the buttons everything should be good there's a blinking light indicating that it's working I hope um, so I'm just relaxing for a minute here and I'm gonna get the bugs off my beer see any in it mm. I'll take that out of here I don't want to leave anything normally I'd pick a few things up too. leave it better than I found it that homeless camp over there gosh you would need a dumpster to fill all that stuff and get it out of here but I'm just gonna relax for a bit I might go explore take a look at that camp again I saw something else to the side over here. Could be a piece of that car, like a door or something. But I'm completely isolated back here. Highway on one side. Hill with fenced retention ponds on the other. And it's nothing but woods the other two directions. And once I get a little bit farther back, I think the property that Walmart owns will end and it starts hitting up with uh, resident private property. I don't want to encroach on that land. So I'm going to maybe have another beer and then I'll take you around this place and we'll go see what we can see. Cheers. That's good. Well, there's a deer, and we're going to head this way towards where it was, which is also closer to the highway. I don't know if you'll hear that or not. I hear it. Ow. Those have thorns, and I'm stuck. There we go. We'll see. Oh, and that's a spider web. We'll get a little closer here. Can I walk the log? Ooh, there's a beverage here. Ah, failed. That's okay. 
we'll just go this way and find that piece of the car. I also hope that I have everything hooked up right for this mic. And I'll know when I get home and go to edit this video if I do or not. As long as it's working, I'm hoping the sound quality is going to be outstanding because it was not cheap. Okay, ouch, thorn in my finger, beer spilled. This is an emergency. Okay, thorn removed, beer almost gone. Hopefully no more incidents like that. Now, if I could find where that trunk of car is. I see it. Had to get on some high ground here to be able to look around better, but I found it. Okay. We're not too far from that <clears throat> other homeless camp. And there's some junk here, but I thought this was parts of that other car that we saw. It had a red color too. Oh no, this is part of a swing set. This is all parts of a swing set. Those are the poles, there's the ladder. Another ladder, they must have. Jeez, this must be pretty old. I think it's a swing set. Maybe not. Let's head back to camp. Not too far to go. There it is. Hennessy hammock in all of its glory. Nice dark green. I think they call the tarp. Oh, they had a name for it, like bark or something. It's a not quite a brown, not quite a green, somewhere in between. There it is. All right. Just relaxing. And why do I always feel like I mumble when I talk to the camera here? Um, let me know how the audio turned out. I know I'll be able to check it on my own computer when I'm editing. But I don't know. Just let me know how it turns out when you're listening and um, I don't know what else to do right now I'm just enjoying myself sitting here not too bad with mosquitoes the highway's close and there's a buzz or hum of cars or semis especially when they go by but it's not too bad there's been a lot of birds chirping a couple times deer have come through uh, it's not a bad place, actually. You'd think the mosquitoes would be a lot worse with this grass and next to the swamp like that. But it's not too bad. So I'm just going to sit here and uh, enjoy the calmness. I'd say the quiet, but I can hear the highway. But I'll just enjoy being out in the woods. And I'll wait a little bit and then I'm going to make some hot dogs. This is what I'm going to be using to cook the dinner on. Instant barbecue kit. So you just light it and you cook the dogs on top of that. Easy to do. It's going to save my backpacking stove from getting all greasy if I just cook right over it. So let's get this heated up and wait a bit and get the dogs going. All right. My instant barbecue kit is going. There's charcoal underneath that little bit of paper. We'll let that burn for a bit. We'll get the dogs on. In the meantime, I'll show you my other toy. I know I've shown it before. This is my little thermosel 
to repel mosquitoes and it runs on the isobutane uh, fuel canister that I use for my backpacking stove and the mosquitoes aren't bad just a handful but I'm gonna get this going just in case it does get worse so we'll catch you back when the dogs are roasting. So this instant barbecue kit is kind of like having a little campfire too. Uh, it's gonna take a while for that part to die out. The coals need to get a little bit more gray and less flame on there and then we can cook. But it's kind of nice. It's really hot out and I don't need a campfire, but I can definitely feel the heat coming off of it. There's the dogs. Looking so good. Just about done. That one's burnt just right. The other one's almost done. And we're going to get a bun and some cheese on there with them. And it will be delicious. Time to eat. This stealth camp is very different than my last one. Um, mildly difficult to get in. Just had to wait a few minutes for cars to get out of the way. Then parked and walked back in. Not an issue. No one's going to hear me. No one's going to see me. So that makes it pretty easy. And the highway noise isn't bad. I wasn't sure what it would be like, but it's not too bad. I think it'll actually kind of be like having a noise machine on at night and I'll be able to get to sleep easily. But this hot dog needs a little bit of cheese. And a little bit of mustard. And after we get that going, then I'm going to eat it. Real men don't put ketchup on hot dogs. you got to have mustard, which I have in this little jar, as well as a spoon to get it out. I was going to bring just a container, but it seems... Oh, geez, it's melting. I don't know. It seems like it might be a waste to bring the mustard in. It's just big. And this is pretty easy to do just like that. Oh, that looks delicious. First hot dog. Mmm. Things always taste better in the woods. This is delicious. I'm going to go ahead and finish this and eat my second. And um, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do. I might just sit around these warm coals for a bit longer. Okay, time to get to bed. And I think it's going to be a good night's sleep. The hammocks set up flawlessly. The slight hum of the traffic in the background. Crickets and frogs going off around me. Should get some good sleep. I'll catch you in the morning. Okay, well, I know I already said catch you in the morning, but two things. Um, the thermocell that screws on top of the fuel canister is working great the first few times I thought it worked but I wasn't sure but it worked great I didn't have any mosquitoes on me at all as I sat as I cooked and ate and then as soon as I shut down that thermocell not 30 60 seconds later mosquitoes so I like it uh, but it is hot and so I couldn't pack it up tonight I have to let it cool I did pack up my chair I like to get up and get out, so whatever I can do the night before, I try to get done.
Anyways, for real this time, catch you in the morning. Well, decent sleep. It did rain twice, so I'm glad I put up the rain fly. And this place is very secluded. So I don't feel the need to get up and rush as I normally do, so I'm just gonna wait a few minutes and then get up and slowly pack up and head out. Well, look who decided to come say hi this morning. Not sure if you can see it. There is a little fawn right there. Oh. There you go, little guy. Well, everything is packed up. Camp is broken. Not really any signs that I was here. Just my white garbage bag that I'm going to get out of here now. And it looks good. Yeah. Grass is a little wet. Making my pants a little wet, but that's okay. Ooh. I could definitely see how this could be more difficult if it was a really wet summer because some of this would be uh, very muddy back here. But as it is, it's dry. Follow the deer run out. Spider web in the face. Ugh. There we go. Out of the forest, back to the hill, avoiding the homeless camp over there because I really don't know if anybody came to it or not. Walking through lots of prickers and we are up. Okay. Ah, successful stealther, easy stealther. Just a tiny bit tricky getting in at first due to the cars that are parked in that pickup area for groceries. But the fact that someone ran a brush hog through here and cleared up this little spot next to the fence made it very nice. Otherwise the whole way would have been through that thick stuff. And I probably would have went down and skirted the edge of the woods instead of doing that because that stuff is nasty. Should be at the car in a minute or two. And we're out. Just as one car is getting loaded with groceries, but it's okay now. Even if the worker looks, they don't have any idea what I'm doing here. Give you a little look. There's the corner of the Walmart, and we are off. Until next time, I am the teller of tales, the drinker of ales, and I camp in stealth because it's definitely good for my health. See ya.